up once again as we get ready to load up into game one here the lower bracket final ap bren blacklist international the agents are here the hive is here which one will pull through in the series as we start game one Looking out for these early rotations. Again, both teams have been on the receiving end and the aggressive end of these early starts. Nope. Tinsui on the purple, Kyle starting up orange. Bit of a kite for black. Now, yeah. obviously, when it comes to the Lord fights, it's going to be another classic retreat battle. Fortunately for the Martis, does, he does have the crowd control immunity. And Oakwin, interestingly, only picked up the... Didn't have the, the EXP earlier on. But anyways, he's trying to mind fight in the middle. Yeah. Again, pressure like early on. This point, you know, at this point, it could change the course of the early game at least. Real quick though, emblems, anything sticking Ooh. out besides all this poke? Oh. Uh, well, nothing much really. Maybe this uh, Master Assassin on the 1-1, uh, perhaps. This is the first time probably that you see this. Typically, you go firmness or tenacity, right? But he went for the Master Assassin. Uh oh, oh Oakland in the back! Drawing first blood underneath Tier 2 as Yui was trying to recall home. That's what I'm saying, man. You know, you put on the pressure early on, it can change the course of this early game, especially talking about a lot of this rotation for both these teams. Still the focus. The AP Brand wants to keep the pressure going, even against Sensui, right? Try to get any lead that you can, that you can work around. Especially that first objective, the turtle. A lot of the teams here against AP Bren, sometimes they find it out, sometimes they let it slip through. Mm -hmm. But I feel like Blacklist International, they want to just go ahead, contest all these things, right? Yep. Give it up to them the best they can, try to win these early fights if they can. Now, typically Wolf, when we see the Angela pop through, it's a little more passive, right? The play style here, and even the variation, we've seen Angela's pick up focusing Mark. This time around, it's it's not. It's the Imperial yep. Rage. I guess the idea for Blacklist International is uh, to go Classic Uba. Wait for seven minutes, wait for eight minutes, and then fight afterwards. Here we go. Turtle already up. Oh. Slight pull for AP Brand. Heavy spin. Spent out by Sensui already. Edward flickering on up. Kyle TZ pops him with a decimate. Renegade flickering on through. There's a puppet on the strings. AP Bren putting up bodies in between them and Blacklist. Turtle scored. AP Bren. Great force out coming out from Flap TZ, forcing the heavy spin while only using his flicker, he can get back to the fight. Then, we know for sure that Cal TZ had a ma micro objective battle against Setsui the Lizard, where they had a retro battle that favored Cal TZ eventually. That meant that Cal TZ had easier access to level 5, and Setsui not having the heavy spin and a level disadvantage, he just decided, I will not fight. Yeah, I feel like as you're, as you're Blacklist International here, and you're working against, let's say, the lineup of AP Brand, right? To, the tools that they have. They have vision, they have utility, the, in terms of mobility, right, with the Matilda pick. That's really what's gonna favor them early on. Once again, as Blacklist International tries to build up here, trying to buy some time, of course, that's the thing with Claude, right? You need to be able to build up on this Claude. Real quick, guys, items are falling into place. Yep. Anything here happening, Wolf, sticking out? Uh, maybe the defense is gonna be important. Sensui, interestingly, will try to fight this purple. Gets it, actually. Yep, spends his retribution. The Astro Echoes spots a few. Oh. Sensui displaced, forcing a heavy spin. Circling Eagle knocking up two. Three members of Blacklist push back into their jungle. Wow. But disengage. Wow. Yeah, they get out with it. He gets away with it. Literally just walking in front of the members of AP Brand. Gets out with the help of his teammates. And then all of a sudden he equalized because I was just about to say that Blacklist International kind of needs to secure levels onto Sensui, mm -hmm. which means that they need to secure the jungle again. The fact that they got a purple buff away from AP Brand, that's, uh, that's pretty massive in terms of their recovery. Gentlemen, I can't believe it. He <laughs> committed Grand Theft Purple with zero punishment. Now up top, Renna J in trouble. Certainly he committed by Ogwin. Wow. That's enough damage. Kyle TZ using the decimate. Now it's Oeb's turn. BMI on out. Staying underneath his turret. AP Bren pushing the advantage. Going about 2,000 oh. gold ahead. Super Marco looking to take the skies. Blazing the wet versus the crossbow tang. Marco wins. Oh, that's tough, right? You're blazing do it, but unfortunately, you can't shoot up too much into the air there with the airtime. Now, once again, Turtle gonna be up here, second one of the game. Blacklist in position. 
It was all horizontal. We need to go vertical. Edward gets a hard guard in him. The Hitman healing him up. Not enough. Oakwin gets the kill. Turtle still standing. Down a fifth of its health. Blacks International with the full count. Easy. Coming in with the steal. Sensui backing off. Still has a heavy spin in check. They disengage. Losing one. 100%. Going over to AP. Wow. Great decision from AP Red to turn onto heroes first. As they have found an opening onto Edward. You can uh, say that Red J's usage of the ultimate might have been a second too late. That meant that even after the shields, the damage out of the AP Brent was enough. And then the Red Tree battle won by Kyle TZ. It's definitely AP Brent's early game now. Yeah, speaking of early game, once again, at this point in the game, you're nearly 4K ahead. Blacklist International, the way they want to adjust to this is, again, buy some time, let yep. scaling happen here. But still, also, the other thing as well is UA, right? Usually when you see these Lilias, they pop out a ton of damage, but he's going to kind of have to wait for that. He has to wait for some of these setups to happen, which is on the shoulders right now of mostly Edward with his Arla pick. But you can see AP Bren just not really giving a chance for them to breathe, right? They want to continue uh -oh. on. Super Marco putting quite a bit of damage onto Oheb. AP Bren have done more than just checking. In terms of an MMA fight, they've been stepping forward, looking for these feints, looking for these sweeps. And that's what explains this 5k gold lead, 5 to 0 at 6. Yep. And even if, even if Blacklist got a solid haymaker, a solid check under the chin, stealing a purple, AP Brent didn't even need it. Yeah. Like, how is uh, on his, on the, uh, in the zone right now, I would say. The way that he uh, utilizes the ultimate, it's always pixel perfect. You wouldn't think that it would be enough to get kills, but so far his two kills were well-calculated usage of the Destiny. Ooh, a few hits. Swiping away, Kyle TZ putting Sensui down. Half health, Ogun pushing them back. This mid lane in uh, Tier 1 is the only one standing left for AP Brand the slow assault. So given this it, situation, we're seconds away here from the last turn of the game. Is Blacklist International better just giving this up? Wolf, let it, yes. let it be. Just give it up, get ready for the Lord. Yeah, absolutely. If they can defend by not dying, go for that. But if they will lose more in defending turrets or defending like turtles, it's absolutely not going to be worth it. Since we might try to go for this, but Kyle is level 10 and he gets poked. Oh, that's it. Yeah. That's three spotted. Since we used the heavy spin, pinning Super Marco, dashing on through, oh. clearing it off, cleansing it. Edward in trouble, taking to the skies with the I'm. Wow. Oh, gonna go in. And there oh. it is, Buffalo Tang jumping through. You will get popped by Flap Teasy, knocking him out behind tier two. And with that, AP Bren forced the advantage. Couple of kills, a plus a turtle. Still going to be putting the pressure there in the mid lane. We'll get the tier one. But that was Sensui starting that, trying to get a possible steal if he could, but just completely zoned out because right now that is the difference, that gold, that economy yep. in favor of AP Bren. Oh, right now. the Filipino cannon popping away, putting him into a tenth of his health. What was that? Ooh, that is snowball, ladies and gentlemen, with the deadly blade. Or the sea halberd, I mean. All the way. All yeah. the way for Flap TZ. No defense items whatsoever. He wants to go for the quick annihilation, knowing full well that Oheb does only have a sprint. Later on, with the sprint being popped, his flicker will be even more deadly. A flicker combo against Oheb will be uh, going to be difficult to deal with later on. That's the thing, too. You see how many items there are from AP Brent to deal with that sustainability, you know, from the Angela pick. There's three now on them. They're all ready to pretty much fight in these skirmishes, and that's why, once again, the heart guard really hasn't had much of an impact, right? They continue to whittle down, and then when the heart guard's supposed to be there, it's not, it's not providing enough healing because of the itemization from AP Bren. They further the lead. Satsui, though, will be able to get the orange as he backs off once again. Blacklist really trying to hold on to any of the real estate they can on their side of the map, but right now, you can see the power of this lead. Yeah, definitely. Even AP Bread just uh, taking over the jungle of Blacks International, they can't do anything about it. But fortunately, Sensui had the guts to use the retribution, steals it away. Look at that Astro Spear hitting onto two, putting in them at below 50% HP with just one shot. Oh, again, right? This is the, this is why Novaria for the longest time has been prioritized, right? Vision poke potential, increasing the hitbox even. And now, with everything, AP Bren's going to be able to go ahead and just grab themselves this Lord as well. Blacklist International still not positions to really deal with this. UA just picking up the Ice Queen wand here. Yeah. They're very far behind in terms of itemization. Super Marco picking up a big defensive item pickup, the Wind yeah. of Nature.
I gotta say though, this is not the first time the Blacklist International were put in this very bad spot. That's right. Just yesterday, they overcame what? A 10k gold lead, 12k gold lead. And now, they can, they have the heroes to actually win this game. They have the Claude Angela, Lilia for the defense, and a high for a win condition pin down. If you're so, talking about lessons, Wolf, AP Bren had the same lead. That's true. A that's massive true. lead. Had, so I now they're pushing the advantage. They're, they're, they're getting on the offensive because they have to. Exactly. They have to. So either way, once again, Blacklist International still could hold on much longer. It is only ten and a half minutes in. They gotta make quick work of the Lord top side. They have the tools to stay in the game, at least extended. Oheb also has to be very careful on this approach. You can see as well, damage is there. They're gonna deal with the Lord here. Astral Echo thrown out, spotting three. This is an odd and awkward position for an Angela. They don't like being in the front lines like this. Ogwin setting it up, looking for that circling eagle, waiting for it to go off of cooldown, does not engage. A successful defense by Black. That will inflate AP Brand's lead to 9.8k, but it will not end the game yet. What they can do right now is clear out the jungle, make sure the Black International will have to group up and just stay for scraps, just dividing all of those gold that they get from the minions that are incoming and not get any more from the jungle creeps. Well, they deal with these shots here. Once again, looking at the items, you can see Ryan Oheb needs a lot of time. He's only got the Demon Hunter Sword. He's got the Golden Staff here. Most likely will be able to grab the Wind, uh, the wind of Nature next. But still, that's the thing, right? Working alongside the fact that you are down this far behind, the, the approach you have to take is you got to be kind of cautious, careful. Oakwin constantly putting the pressure here with the Circling Eagle for Blacklist International, and that's why the positioning is so important. Even looking across the map, Looking at the positioning of AP Bren, they want to punish a misstep from Blacklist International to possibly end the game early, right? They don't want to extend it too far. They go for Sensui, he's at the front, but he's going to be fine. The pokes come through, though. Something about few here in game number one tells me he's in it to win it. He's been catching Blacklist International with four-man, five-man Astral Recalls in a, on a constant basis. Twelve minutes in, I think there have been four or five big ticket ults from this Novaria, yeah. and it's going to help with the check, it's gonna help make this 20 second Lord coming up all the more important because the turn is gonna be almost impossible for Blacklist. See Edward, now picking up the Radiant Armor, much needed. And one thing that I noticed, the, how Blacklist International plays so far than stage two of knockouts, Renjay never leaves Oheb's side. But this time, picking up the Angela means that you actually can leave Oheb behind. Ooh, Platizi, playing footsies, checking who else is with Edward here. Spots energy in the back, throwing out a circling eagle, they back out. Again, I think at this point still, they given the, the retry. difference here, yeah, the retro is going to be used, so I don't feel like they actually want to go ahead and fight. Obviously, this Lord, AP Brent's got that information as well. They can go ahead and clear this. Going for the Blitz, slight pull. AP Brent with a clear lead, melting the Lord down to a fifth, a sixth, an eighth, a tenth. Clearly, AP Brent in control here. 10k ahead, 7-0, 13 minutes in. Ogwen, so let's find him. And a very nice idea coming up from AP Brand. They forced the retribution, and knowing full well that uh, the Blacklist International didn't have the retribution too, that means that they could fight, uh, could, couldn't fight around the Lord area. That's a quick take coming up from AP Brand. How good is their push though? We're gonna see. As they're slowly pushing the middle, they're kind of freezing it so that all of the links will come up together. Unfortunately, the bottom lane is gonna go first. Well, yo. Edward using the final slash. So still, they got to deal with the lanes. Lord now on the top side. AP Brand wants to get these base turrets down. It's going to start up top. Another big five, a man. Lateral, Astral Echo. The pull, the dash, the jump. Edward moving on through. Agent Zero. Spell oh. tapping through. Forcing out of Black Shoes. Flap easy. Taking a few oh. hits there. Inside the base now. The Blazing Duet coming in. Edward popped, dropped and not gonna be able to stop this push from AP Bren. 13k ahead, barreling through. Up next on the dock at bottom lane. Plax International gonna be able to defend, clear that wave. Only one inhibitor falls. They hold on to at least a little bit longer. Bottom turret, one hit away here. 
But Blacklist International, you can see they're starting to get the damage online, especially for Oheb. But can they hold on longer? Ah, the jump in! Another black shoe, the heavy spin, pinning down Flapteezy, gonna take him down! But Sensui pays the iron price, Marco taking down the inhibitor in mid, down bottom as well. Oh, Dutch! Sensui! Sensui's oh. not here to half through and split these waves, but it looks like he's gonna slow down. Unless AP Bren waiting for a wave in mid. The Astro Echo spots the four remaining members of Black. The circling. Oh! oh! Good eye, Sniper! Few finds one. Three defenders left underneath the base. There's a solid wave. Renegade coming through. Hard guard is going to be enough. Kyle Deezy wailing away at the oh! base. Oh! head goes down. Few pops him. And now the base stands alone with two members of Black. One member of Black. No more. It's a wipeout. AP Bren takes game one. And it looks like they've adjusted very quickly from the previous series. They came out swinging in a decisive game number one. They take this game, they even they take the series 1-0. If you look back at that game, there's no overextension, no overheating coming out from AP Bren. Very disciplined, getting all of those OP heroes that we have, the 1-1. Again, the Matilda as well, very strong combo. Martes coming up from Kaltizi, just on point, no mistakes, well calculated usage of the decimate. And then, of course, Few on the Navaria. Still, you know, with the hawk eye, or eagle eye, Few <laughs> is there. It was on point, right? On Again, point. why they love to take that Navaria, but we'll leave it to what was that, the Malaysian brothers over there on the panelist stand. Go ahead and break down this game number one.